Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This is another of my thought experiments. This one's quite a serious one. This one's called After a Nuclear Terrorist Attack. Hidden in a delivery truck, terrorists simultaneously detonated a nuclear bomb in downtown New York City, D.C., Chicago, and L.A. Millions of people died immediately. Many more people died later from radiation poisoning. Of course, there were calls for retribution. But learning a lesson from the Israeli overreaction to Hamas's invasion, the U.S. government decided to merely disseminate photos to garner worldwide support. And that worked. The world, which had become increasingly anti-American, became more supportive of the U.S. and even of Israel, seeing the latent monstrosity that terrorism can wreak. But rebuilding America, when 30% of its population was murdered, has been most difficult. Of course, there is the mammoth pain suffered by the family, the friends, the co-workers, and the employers of the murdered people. In addition, in the usual overreaction to the immediate, government, that is the taxpayer, funded much, much more for surveillance, hospitals, and other readiness. But the U.S. deficit and debt had already become an existential threat, especially to China. The one-two punch of those costs and the decimated economy and thus tax base threw many more people into poverty. Anxiety has been raised further by the resultant increase in crime, depression, substance abuse, and fear of another potent wave of COVID or the next day dangerous pathogen. Atop it all is the specter of the next terrorist attack. For example, a highly communicable biovirus, such as mutated smalltox, smallpox, simultaneously released from vials hidden behind open attache cases in major airport parking lot buses that are headed for the terminals. The American people have become more like Israelis, trying to go on with life while ever on alert. America has become a sadder place to live. The terrorism depressed people atop the accelerating focus on redistribution to make everyone more equal. No one wants to feel they're nothing special, just a grain of sand on a beach. Whether the union movement or people feeling the need to look alike in loose-fitting protest black or Soviet gray, indeed, many Americans often wear the tamped-down faces that were common in Soviet breadlines. Religion has made a resurgence. In any event, that thought experiment is called After a Nuclear Terrorist Attack. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you taking a look at any of my 31 books. Uh, the one most relevant to this is my book, Thought Experiments. Uh, but all 30 are on Amazon. Just go there, search on my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O, and you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.